Salam alaikum.
Salamu alaikum.
Oh, this I might have wanted to write the network is not friendly. You. Okay, I think um, we can start. Okay, um, um, Imam and Imam shall want to give us prayer before we start the program. Come on, Imam Yes, please give us the opening prayer. What do you say? Please give us opening prayer. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim. Uh, I say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We thank wa Almighty wa 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 Allah. And we ask Him that uh, He should be with us as we are starting. We are starting in His name. We pray that. Um, Everything we learn here will be beneficial for us. We pray for <laughs> understanding. Yes, we pray that as one of Allah, we make it the understanding of this um, lessons easy for us. And inshallah, it's going to be benefit us, inshallah, in the world and in the year after. Al Fatiha. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Rahman Rahim. Malik Yomidin. Ya kan abdu ya kan astain idna surat al mustaqim surat al ladina yam talim gairu magdubi alim wala dolina amin sallu ala nabiy al karim Allahu akbar Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um welcome you all to the
We welcome you all to, to this event, to this um, training. Inshallah, today and tomorrow, we shall be putting ourselves through um, the process of how to create and maintain a blog. Um, my name is Noibi. Um, Kosim Adewale, I shall be your facilitator for today and tomorrow. And uh, we'll try as much as possible to make it very interactive and ensure that it is result driven. I also want to implore us to be open-minded, inshallah, and let us, uh, whatever that you don't understand, please let us um, ask questions so that we will be able to have a result-driven um, training, inshallah. Let me share my screen. So for the next 15 minutes or so, today we will be, for, we'll be doing introduction for the next 15 minutes. And um, afterwards, we'll go into pure practical sessions. But there are some certain things that you need to first understand first as foundation before we enter into the practical sessions. This can everybody see by screen? They just type in the yes. uh, message box if you can see my screen. Okay, yeah, so alhamdulillah that um, people can see my screen now. So we'll start with the, intro with the introductory part of the course. And um, what do we expect to learn in this course? We expect to learn what a blog is, why exactly should you blog, the types of blogs that we have, how to start your blog, how to monetize your blog, and um, we'll get our hands dirty with practical sessions. So today, we'll literally be taking the first four parts of this. We'll take what a blog is, what are the advantages, why should you blog, the types of blogs, and how to create your own blog. So today, by the end of this class, everybody should be able to create, to at least create their own blog, while tomorrow, will continue with maintaining your blog, styling it up and monetizing it for yourself. What is a blog? A blog is literally like an abbreviation of, abbreviated version of what we call a web log. Web log is um, a website that maintain information that stores information in a chronological order. For the benefit of um, the foundation of the course, I would quickly like to, to mention that there are two types of websites. Those websites that we see online, there are, there are two basic types. You have websites that you call static websites. A static website is a website that when you go there, you literally don't do any other thing than to read information. Like a company website, for example, they just go there, you go there to go to read about us, contact us, the, our services and the likes. Those are literally static websites. Dynamic websites are interactive websites, websites that go beyond content provision for example, Facebook is a dynamic website because it's interactive on Facebook. You can look for friends, you can chat with friends. Twitter is an interactive website. WAEC portal or school portal where you check results. They are all interactive websites. So they are dynamic websites. So um, a blog is a type of a dynamic website because a blog allows you to store information in a chronological order and also allows interaction. 
So a lot of blogs provide commentary, excuse me, on news or particular subjects. Some can be personal diaries, but it depends on what you want to keep. So I will, while we're doing this introduction, I will want everybody here to start deciding what type of blog they want to keep, you understand? Blogs are primarily textual. That is, they are, they are primarily, uh, they store text contents, or, although some blogs can decide to focus on our arts. Some can decide to focus on photographs. Some can decide to fo focus on videos. Those are the ones that we call vlogging. Vlogging is V, when I say vlogging, I mean V logging. This time around is not a B. Vlogging is an abbreviation version, abbreviated version of video blogging. So there are people, if you are someone that does not know how to, that you, you don't have time to write text, but you can record videos, you can decide that you want to do a vlog instead of a blog. But a, a video blog is a type of a blog. A music blog, and you can also be do an audio blog. An audio blog is what they call a podcast. So it's, it's very imperative for us to know that, to know these types of, um, of blogs. Now, another type of blog, another uh, aspect of blogging is microblogging. Microblogging are plat microblogs are blogs that allows you to write very short content. Twitter is a microblog. On Twitter, you cannot enter more than six, um, a certain number of characters at a go. That's why they call it a microblog. Now, why should you blog? Why should you blog? Why do you think you should blog? First is that blogging enables you to reach billions of people that use the internet. It can help you promote yourself. And it works as a method for attracting an audience because it provides something of value to them before asking for Sorry, anything. Sorry, I can't hear you again. Can you hear me? I can hear. I think it's from the... Yes, from yes, the... yes, yes, we can hear, we can hear now. Yes. We can hear now. Okay. Yes. We are hearing you, sir. So blog, blogging also allows you to establish an authority. If you have, um, if you write about important topics that are really relevant to your audience, it allows you to establish yourself as an authority in the space. It allows you to organize your thoughts and learn, and it allows you to tell your story your own way. So I want to use a case study, for example, I know we have a lot of imams here. For example, if you're an imam, you do Friday sermons every Friday. You attend um, naming ceremonies to do, um, you do lectures at naming ceremonies. You do lectures at uh, burial ceremonies. You attend, you do nikahs and everything. You do lectures in those places. And uh, imagine if you could have a place where after you finish your lecture, your Friday sermon, for example, and uh, you are able to document them and put them on a blog for people who attended the sermon and people who also did not attend the sermon. So it allows you to organize your thoughts. It allows you to attract your own audience and establish an authority in whatever that you, are, you, are, you have chosen to write about. Then the most important part for us, especially as Muslims, is that it allows us to tell your, our own story, our own way. We've suffered so much in the hands of um, journalists in terms of carrying um, news or misinterpreting our values, misinterpreting our, our principles, and therefore giving us something sort of a bad image in 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 the in the world so having our officers to blog about islam about 
will allow us to tell our own story to the world our own way because we are the ones so apart from the religious God, angle yeah. so you as a Am I audible? Yes, yes you are. Yeah. Yes, very good. Yes. Let that person so, change his direction. Okay, so it allows us to tell our own story. So apart from the religious angle, yes. as a business too, you can also tap into this to tell a story of your business. So what are the types of blogs? The first type is a personal, you can have a personal blog. A personal blog is, there are people in the world today that like to document their personal life on a blog. You can, people can argue about it that, why do you want to do that? Well, it's their choice to do so. They, they literally go around every time everything they do in a day they document it in an article and share it so that other people can learn from it i know somebody that literally when they might decide to go to a beach or a hotel or something and share his or her experience in those places for people who might also be deciding to go to those places so those are personal diaries that people who want to share their personal experiences, we call them personal blogs. There are corporate blogs. Corporate blogs is for companies. Companies can decide, Dangote Cement, for example, can decide to do blogs on, can decide to create a blog on their own website on their different programs apart from their business or maybe they just sign new deals, partnerships and the likes, they can decide to do that. Those are corporate blogs. General um, blogs are blogs that are specific with some certain sectors. For example, what we're doing here is encouraging our imams, for example, to have their own blogs. Those blogs will literally be religious blogs. There are travel blogs, there are political blogs. Political blogs are blogs where political issues, people write opinion. People can decide to write opinion about um, the political situation of the country and the likes and the likes. So those are political blogs, but we encourage our imams have your own religious blogs or education blogs so that we can have more. The, the, the very sad thing out there is that the content for, for local, Islamic principles, like local Islamic content is not so much, like Nigerian Islamic content is not so much. The so much that we have on Nigerian Islamic content is ma majorly music in terms of um, those, the people that sing um, Islamic music in quotes. So you can also decide to have a legal blog. So those are the, those are what we call genre blogs. You have what we call media blogs. Media blogs, you can decide that you don't want to write text. You don't have time to be typing in articles. You don't have time to be, you can decide that maybe for example, during your Friday sermon, somebody records your sermon. It is very clear. And you just, you don't want to put the text there. You just want to put the video. Those are media, that's a media blog. Or you can decide you don't want to put the video, you want to put the audio. That's a podcast, is it's also a media blog. But when it's video, it's called a vlog, a vlog. When it's audio, it's called a podcast. And when it's photos, it's called a photo blog. So those are the kind of blogs that we have. So what advantage do you have if you start blogging? Uh, sorry, what, what, what is the blogging advantage? What are the things that the blogs uh, have that you should tap? Blogs are very, very, very easy to create and maintain. You don't need to have a laptop, for example. 
from just your phone throughout this training. We'll be creating blogs from a desktop, which is from a laptop. And uh, maybe tomorrow we'll also create a blog from directly from your phone. So you, a blog is something that you can maintain you can maintain from your from your phone and anywhere. It's very simple to use. It attracts more traffic for fre for every content. If you do a Friday sermon, for example, in your mosque, and you you decide to talk about a burning issue in the society that you have um, given an opinion on. You can also decide to share it on your blog and let people share their opinions around it. And you also have the opportunity to take questions and interact with people with comments. So that's that's literally the, the basic principles, the basic foundation of what you need to know about what a blog is. I'm going to be showing you, before I take the first set of questions, I'm going to be showing you um, my own blog in terms of the contents that are there and the analytics, how those things have been able to I started my blog two year, three years ago, and I've literally not, not posted anything on that blog for the past one year or so. And I have content here that people go every day to look at, you understand, that people view, I have different, content about um, what I think people need. I go online and scrape the internet for what I think people need. And I also take my time to also write for some of these things. So a lot of these contents are here. I, I, would, I would like you to look at this particular content, comprehensive details of how to complete missed rackers of salad. I mean, it has been one of my most engaging contents. I've never believed that I've had over 9,000 reads for this particular content. And um, this is how much people desire um, the contents that we are creating that we are we we have not been giving them. So I, I want to believe that after okay, I, there's this other content that also attracted a lot of things, a lot of um, is it is um, an experience shared polygamy survivor guide, a co-wives experience. You can see it gained as much as six thousand five hundred reads. You understand? So. And this is a blog that I've literally not, not touched in the last one year. So one of the good things about many of these things is that they are there, even if you decide to, you decide to, stop, um, to stop posting contents there. The ones that you have posted there will always be there for life and they will be available. So in case you decide to monetize, so when we get to monetization stage, that's where you understand why you need to keep very strong content. So before I move ahead to the practical session, I will like to take one or two questions for the next five minutes, then we'll take the practical session straight. If there's anything you don't understand in the foundation that I've just um, explained, please drop your questions in the chat box. and I will take them within the next five minutes.
Okay, somebody asked if we can do a documentary on a on a vlog. Yes, you can. You can do as much as you want on your on your on your blog. On your as blog. Much as you want. Even if you want to do a whole movie, you can put it you on your blog. On your blog. There is no limit There's to what. Somebody asked if there's any legal implications to blogging. Okay, right now, I'm not a legal person, but I know that um, the internet has liberalized a lot of things. I don't think there, there are, apart from the fact that you should not promote um, disunity, you should not promote fake news, you should not promote anything that is going to cause havoc. I don't think there's any there there is any um, legal thing that you, do you need to do I need to register with an agency? No. Is there issue of copyright that is left to you? The issue of copyright is left to you. You when you are doing your blog, try as much as possible to avoid plagiarism. If you are going to copy anybody's content, give them credit. Somebody said, do you need to have a website before having a blog? No, you don't need to have a website before you can have your own blog. Somebody is asking if, how do we create it? We are going to that after that, after this um, question and answer session. Do we pay for any service provider to get and maintain a blog? Okay, so there are two parts to this. If you decide, you can decide to run your blog free, you can decide to do your blog and not pay a dime, anybody, anything. If you, are, if you decide to use your, the blog the way it is. But there's a part where you need to, you might want to decide that you will, you want to have the blog in your name. We'll get to that part. Maybe you need to buy a domain and, put it on your blog and buying a domain will cost you maybe something around 5,000 Naira per annum. But when we get to that, I will, will, will explain how to, but for, for the purpose of this class, you are going to have all your, you are going to have your own blog free of charge by not paying anybody. So you are literally not going to be paying anybody to get a blog. How can we secure our content in the blog? Securing your content, I don't understand. If you're securing your content in terms of um, maybe people hijacking your content, uh, once your content is on the internet, I'll have to be sincere with you. There is little you can do around, around um, people copying your content. But what, what you can also do is to file for copyrights at some point in time. If you notice your content has been copied somewhere. What is the difference between blog and website? I mentioned it from the beginning. A blog is actually a website. A blog is a type of a website, a dynamic website. How can we drive traffic to our blog? In blogging, there's something we call, there's a slang that we say, we, call, we say content is king. If you provide content that people want, people will come to your website, will come to your blog. You understand? I just show you my blog. I didn't do any adverts. I didn't advertise. I didn't share the link anywhere. People just searched for some things and they found my blog content from my blog as one of the results and they've been coming. So if you look around you, look around you, look at content that people want to read, people are looking for. There are so many things that people are looking for on the internet, especially for Islam, Islamic content and the likes that they are not getting. Like, um, like, for example, issues relating to moon sighting in Nigeria. You understand, when you Google moon sighting, 
before the last two years or so, when you Google moon sighting principles and the likes, you literally will be seeing results from Saudi Arabia, from Europe, from, you literally won't get anything from Nigeria. But in the last two, three years or so, I've seen a lot of people write about moon sighting and the likes. And funny enough, most of those articles are in newspaper websites where those people will probably not get enough um, credits for what they wrote. So imagine writing something like that and having it on your blog, sharing it with people, even if you don't share it with anybody, when people go to Google to search for those things, you will need, they will see your article, your content as part of the, part of the results. So I think I've taken enough questions. We can go, we can go into the actual um, practical class itself. Now, there are two types of platforms where you can get, there are three, three platforms that you can create a blog. The first one is Medium, medium.com. The second one is blogger.com. And the third one is WordPress. You, you, cannot, you cannot see your screen. I'm going to share my screen. I'm trying to share my screen. Okay, this is medium. Medium is very popular among the, in the tech industry. People who write a lot of things about technology and the likes, but it can be used by anybody. You, you see, you have different topics here. You have politics, you have machine learning, you have productivity. This is medium. Then there is WordPress. So for this class, I am going to be using Blogger. Blogger is, is more popular. Blogger is owned by Google. So that is why to have a Blogger account, you need to have a Google account. So once you have a Gmail account, you can use Blogger. All you need to do is go to blogger.com. Safari. Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. So all you need to do is go to blogger.com. So as a case study for this class, I am going to be creating a an Islamic blog for us to create, to share Friday sermons every, every Friday, to put Friday sermons, for example. So I'm, I'm literally just going to call it um, Friday Nasiha dot, my Friday Nasiha. So if you go to blogger.com, all you need to do is click create your blog. When you click create your blog, it asks you to select um, the Google account that you want to use. If you don't have a Google account, you have to literally, um, you have to literally uh, create a Google account for yourself. But I want to assume that everybody here has a Google account. Please note that if you have an Android phone, it's, not, it's almost impossible for you not to have a Google account because your Android phone is powered by your Google account. So but in this case, I'm creating with my Google account. 
this is my own account, noibilism at gmail.com. I will click noibilism at gmail.com. So it's taking me to my own, to my old um, blog. I want to use a fresh. I create, create, I say create your blog. Let me use a fresh um, Google account. Let me use Naswat TV, for example. So what I did is I put our NASFAT account. Now, when you get here, when you get here, you will see an existing blog. Click on this. I want to use a fresh account so that, so that when you get to your, when you start practicing, you don't get confused. Create your blog. So the first thing it says is that I should choose a name for my for my blog. The name of my blog is Then I click next. So I'm going to choose the address, the web address for my blog. Your web address has to be unique. So it, it, might, it might be difficult sometimes to create, to get a web address for yourself. In most times, what you want to use, somebody has used it before. So you have to be very, very creative about it. So I can say Friday, nasiha.blogspot.com okay luckily for me it is available so i'll say friday nasiha.blogspot.com and the fact that this is even available literally is evidence in the lack of content for islamic um, Literally, I, I literally did not expect it to be available by now. So what is the display name? Display name is the name that your blog will display on the browser bar. So I will still call it Friday Nasiha. And I will say finish. So I've created my, my blog. On your browser, if you open, I'm going to open another tab and type fridaynasiha.blogspot.com.
Okay. We've created our first blog. Can you see my screen? Yes. So we created our blog, Friday Nasiha. There's nothing there. We've not done anything there. But from your own browser at home, if you try, if you type Friday Nasiha.blogspot.com, it will show on your browser. Can anybody confirm to me that you can open Friday Nasiha without H in the end? Yes. Blogspot.com. Can anybody confirm to me that they can open it from their browser at home? We try. I want to be sure that you are able, you are able to. I want to be sure that you are able. You you've been you've been able to open it from home, so that it's not only me that's seeing it here. The same spelling that we are seeing. Yes, the same spelling. Friday Nasiha dot blogspot dot com. Yes, it it came up. I saw it. When we I are taking our home, is it case sensitive? <laughs> Dot, sorry, dot, dot, dot so .com. In terms of case sensitivity, wh mm. whether you type capital letter or small letter, the system automatically converts it to lower case for you. So, but I've tried. I've tried so many names. It keeps on saying that the names are invalid. I've I've, I've typed Islamic finance. I've typed so many other. Names. I'm not typing Islamic. <laughs> So it literally means those things have been taken out. The blog address is invalid, so not supported. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Why is this? I think you can allow me to finish this um, session so that we can take questions. I'll take questions afterwards. Right. So I have created my blog. So I want everybody at home to, to try and create something for themselves and share it in the chat box. Go to blogger.com. Go to blogger.com. Click, click, create your blog and log in. Then follow the process. Then share the, share the link to your blog in the chat box can you take it again start let, let's start from the beginning how to create a blog so that you now take us to oh, open it in your gmail uh, go to create a blog let, let's take it let's take it all over again thank you some of us are trying to follow you as you are doing it Sorry, I'm trying to delete this blog. Okay. So you go to blogger.com. Admin, please have a minute. Uh, Hmm? 
Okay, so you go to blogger.com. Can you see my screen? Can see you can yes, see your yes. screen. You can okay. see it. Go to blogger.com, click the okay, one. Create your you should click your what? Blog. Create your blog. Okay, that's two, three. Three, it will, it will ask to select the Google account that you want to use. Which one will you have select? For me, I have four Google accounts here. For you, you are okay. going to see just one account. For those of us that have like two or uh, three uh, Google accounts, you can choose one. You can choose any one. Okay. Then it asks me to put my password. My Google password. That is the password that you use to log in to your to your video is to your Gmail account. Okay. That is for I don't think means you five. Five. Yes. Name for your blog. So uh, you have to create your own blog. You are choosing so, name okay. for your because blog. I've created a blog before. It's taking me to this page, so I want to sign out of this account and okay. use another huh. fresh, fresh account. Okay. Sign up. Sign up. Sign up. Mm -hmm. well, calling boy, boy now. Okay, there is another one here to continue blogger. Okay, Yadi, come and see this. Enter your password. So it will take you to this page. Okay, after entering our password. Yes. Ah, oh, someone has to remove this. Who's this talking? After you enter your okay, password, you take this page. To title. You give, you give your blog a name. So, like, I gave my blog Friday. Let's see her. Okay. Then I'll click next. So that name is the title for your blog. Now, on this next page, you are going to okay. enter the address that you want your blog to have. This address is like www.something.com. Do you understand? Okay. So you enter the address. I'll enter the address. So in my own okay. case, I will, I will enter Friday. Now see how you say he's telling me it's not available because I've used it for the other the other time that I was using it that we created the first block. We used it there. If I put a hit. Oh, someone can enter the Tafsir Quran. Exactly. So, okay, Tafsir Quran. The participants just use your own. That's why it is not coming. Uh, okay. The participants just use it. Okay, somebody used it. Yes. Oh. So I've added an H to my own Nasiha. That is why I can now go okay. ahead and, and use it. Then I'll click next. Okay. Then how do you want your blog name to show? The display name for you. It's still the same Friday Nasiha. 
So we still maintain the same name we, we entered. Exactly. Now, I, I want to also say that this Friday, now see how that we enter here, cannot have space. Do you understand? You can't put space in between. Okay. Although that, it, that should be a... That should be exactly what, what we entered when we're about to enter the address. When I say Tefsir Quran, yes, Tefsir Quran. So I've gone back to where we are entering the address. If you if okay. you want to enter Tefsir Quran here, I'm not going to yes. put space between Tefsir okay. and Quran. Uh, Quran. Yes, they have to be together. Okay. You can put dash between them. Okay. But advisable okay okay so you can put dash you can only put dash you cannot put space you cannot put underscore you cannot put any other you cannot, cannot put, put comma you cannot put any other character apart from dash okay so, if i go to next the same name that I used to in the first beginning. So there's a difference between display name and address name. Display okay. name is you can put anything inside display name. Display name is what you want your people to be able to see in the address bar. In the if you look at the top of my I'm trying to. Hello. I just highlighted a place here. Can you see this place I highlighted? Okay. Whatever mm -hmm. you type here mm. is what the clock. is what will display there. Do you understand? So whatever you type is is what we display on the we call it um, the web title. So if you go to Facebook, for example, on that place you see Facebook written there. So whatever you type here is what people will see when they what people see on that bar. When they go to your blog, then next you click finish so once you click finish you get to this page so for you to know whether your blog is um working or not that right. name that that name that you typed at the address in the beginning that friday nasiha you type it dot blogspot.com. So I am going to type www.friday uh, Please make sure the spelling is exactly how you entered it. blogspot.com. And it will show my blog. It will, it will show you this kind of page, depending on what you did. So based on that, I want to I want to I want everyone that has tried it to drop their. I can see now. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Can you can you come back a little from that display name? Getting to finished. So the thing about it is that if we want to go back, we are going to start from the beginning again. Salam alaikum. Oh, sorry about that. Don't worry. I think we'll capture that. Wa alaikum salam. We can hear you, yes. ma'am. Yes. Choose you uh, URL for your blog. That is address. Yes. 
and he's saying, I've tried to name, okay. So I will now put, I will, I will save it, okay? Yes. I thought Muslim hey, Abib. Abib. safe. Come, come. The same process. Okay. Uh, Imam it says Imam. block, block created. Yes. So after block created, what happens? After block created, open yes. a new tab. Yeah, try a block, you know. And I'm, type. I'm taking a lesson on block. That address. Okay. That address that you created. Okay. You may try. Because it Muslim women matters, right? Yes, sir. With dash in between. Okay. Muslim dash, yeah, women dash, matters dash. Sir? Okay. Mm -hmm. Type mm -hmm. Muslim dash, women dash, matters dot blogspot.com. Okay. Um, yeah. Somebody created mm -hmm. what that mm -hmm. mm -hmm. is. This type of URL will not work because you put an apostrophe between inside Dawa. In my own case, but the it's name. working now. It's not working. Uh, <laughs> I can see it now. That's wrong only for my created one, sir. CM was saying something, sir. Ah, the name the name of the blog that I created was only uh, Kazi. But on the URL URL table, it shows only mm -hmm. Nikazi dot blogspot.com instead of only Kazi is full. Maybe you maybe you uh you omitted the O. I wanted to, I wanted to name it Islamic like... perspective. He got it as the uh, Blog name, uh, uh, the, uh, the first name, the first address. Okay. And I wanted right. to name and I said, and I put to Nick Aziz. But when on the URL uh, URL uh, table, it shows Nick Aziz. Blogspot. Com. That was not what okay. I said. So the good thing is that on Blogger, you oh. can create as many blogs as possible for yourself. Uh -huh. Just go to. You see where my mouse is? Can you see my, my mouse? Okay. If I click here, it will okay. ask me if I want to click create another blog. I will click new blog. Okay. Then I will start the process again. Okay. So if that one is not working, just leave it and create another one. Okay. Okay, yeah, well, I can Mario or Fred. Don't... I'm here. He's saying I... such is related to. I don't see my own. It's just giving me such is related. How do I sign out? How do I sign out from this one? If you want to sign out, just click on your. You see this um, Google account? Yes. Where my mouse is. Yes. Click on it. When you click on it, just click sign out. We don't see your mouse. Can you see my mouse? Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Click on this and click sign out. Yes, sir. Assalamu alaikum. I created another one. Uh, marry your friend dot blogspot. Assalamu alaikum. That is from me. Okay, somebody uh, can say what at the blogspot.com. Salam alaikum. How do we sign when we sign out? After signing how out, how do we sign in back? Just type blogger.com on your browser. Okay. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Yes, on the on the new page that I opened and I type Muslim women matters is also so he says such is related to Muslim women matters <laughs> blogspot.com. 
okay you 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 typed it on google that is why it is it is um going to search it's saying related to where should i type it there on your browser type put www dot what do you call it muslim, muslim dash that, women dash matters matters Yes. Dot blogspot dot com. Look at um, the chat um, room. I've dropped. Okay. Can I visit them? Okay. Um. Uh, what do you want me to take it? To the chat Assalamu alaikum. I, I type the URL, the format. In is, the, is, okay. W, 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 okay, 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 thank you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Yes, I got it. I've created one. Quran is my food. Yeah, we've seen it. I like that. We can see your Muslim women matters dot here. You can see it. Yes, please look at wow. my screen. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Congratulations! <laughs> Thank Yamali. you. Yamali. <laughs> So let's to the final part of the um, of today's class. We have created our our blog, but we now need to add our first. As you can see, for example, Muslim Women Matters is um, empty. We now need to add content to the blog. So to add content, contents on the blog they are called posts. Just click, just click new post. Can everybody see my yes. mouse? Yeah. Yes. Click new post. Hmm? It will take you to this screen. Can I hear you, what's up? Those people who are to that they should please miss uh, themselves. Can you hear me? Yeah. No, sir. Okay. I can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. So if I click new post, it will take me to a page where I can add my post. Let's say, okay, let me call. Let's say I'm going to copy Friday Salmon from Asphalt's website. Asphalt's weekly sermon, which is the title of the of the article. I'll put it here. But the next thing is to put the text. Now, it is believed that you would have you would have typed the text somewhere. Maybe Microsoft Word. You just copy it. I am literally going to copy this content from here. What I did was to do Control C and Control V. 
I copied I, the content and I pasted it here. So this particular box is where your contents will be. This box works like your regular Microsoft Word, where you can book, you can do italics, you can add image, you can underline. See, for example, if I highlight it now, and I click on this button, it will go bold. If I highlight this one and I click on this I button, it will be italics. So it literally works like your Microsoft Word. Um, yeah. It works like your Microsoft no. Word application. It's very simple and straightforward. <laughs> and when you are done, just click publish. Once you click, click. Publish. publish. Okay. If you ask if you want to publish this post to your blog, you click confirm. So if I go to my blog, fridaynatiha.blogspot.com, you will see that the content is already there. So I have added my first content to my blog. So for everybody that has created a blog, please add content to your blog. And share. I, can't, I still can't access my blog. <laughs> but I know but I know, but I know it is there. But I know it be. Ah. Okay, sorry. Uh, 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 he said you take questions later. Why is, um, I think we should start taking questions because I'm done with. Okay, uh, my question is that you said the the name I use now so that was because of the this thing is not going to work. But I see it's it's on. I've been able to do everything you asked us to do. No, so what you are seeing is your back office. What you are my seeing. What? What, what I call your back office, where you can add contents to your blog. Uh, Does it mean that my blog is not up? It is up, but it's up in another name that you probably don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah. I say can't access my blog, my page. I think where, where do you is, say I should type it? Uh -uh. If I let go me, to Google, let me stop my screen and you share yours. Alaya, please share your screen. It means. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Alaikum assalam. If the content you are going to add, if it is picture or video, I will go, I will see the same process. Yeah, so I don't, I don't want to go to the complex part of things right okay. now. I just want everybody to grab the basics first. Then tomorrow we'll add video, we'll add text. Wow, content. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to come in through my laptop. Please admit. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Sorry, before uh, Alaja will, will share our, our screen. Um. Uh, Sorry, I want to ask a question on the regarding the Friday and uh, Nasia that um, brother Naibi uh, demonstrated for us now. Now, for instance, when this Friday Nasia was created, um, can we? Is it possible to to post another content on the on the blogs on the blogs different from a, a Friday a sermon? Or basically is for Friday sermon. That's one. Two, if yes, 
Oh, sorry. If no, that we cannot uh, post another content or another sermon except that Friday. So can we? Which means can we be creating another uh, 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 blog that will that will names other content? Please, can you explain that? Okay, so your Thank blog you. is in your total control. You can post whatever you want to post on it. But the fact that you named it Friday Nasiha, it does not mean you cannot post any other thing on it. But it is very good that you use your blog for whatever that you have named it for. Get it? So it's Friday Nasiha that you named it for. Upload Friday summons there. Okay. Okay. And second if you if, if you want to upload any other content there, the blog will not be stop you from uploading any other thing. It is your blog. Oh, okay. Okay. Second, secondly, sir, after after you created you 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 after you went to the new post and you posted the salmon. Don't know. I don't know where you where you click to bring out that publish. I can't. I can't grab that place. If you, know, you, you are using on... your laptop, okay. Publish is on the top right. Okay, top right on the laptop. Okay. Let me share my screen before I log in. Thank you, sir. Okay. Alagi, are you ready? Yes. If I'm. Please share, Please share your screen, ma'am. Okay. Meanwhile, I want can you, other people. Can, can you see it, sir? Yes, ma. Okay, on the new tab. Click on that new tab. New. Here. Yeah. New post, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that is why you are having issues because you are typing it in the search box. So you are. You are Where yeah, will I type it? Yeah. Put it in the, no. no. Go. Go yeah. Yes. 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 Go to the other side. Uh -huh. Yeah. Paste it there. And before you press enter, before you press enter, you are using okay. comma instead of dots. Remove the comma and change it to dots. There are two of them. Then this first. The dot second one too. This yeah. one too? Yes. Yes. Dot. Change it to dots. Okay. Press enter. Yeah. So now you have your is here. Is here. Tony, there is nothing here. He had it just read by one pen. Uh, you've not added anything to it. So you I can go and add you can go and add a post to it now. Where will I press? Where do we add here? To go back to yeah, click add it here. You go and log in. You go and log in with your Google account. Okay. Go back to Alaja, please go back to the second um, tab. This one. Tab blogger this one. post yes. tab. Yes. This one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Click it. You see, I'm there. Sorry. Lagos. Jai Badon. Click new Click new post. Yeah. 
eko wo ma to nsoro yin nikan ni mo won o to wa ba don mi wa mo boye ba please mute o please mute mute ah okay so they dey muting you oh yeah click new post ma click new post but you click new okay yeah. So you put the post title on top in that big box. You will put your article inside it. Then when you are done, you will click on the far top right. You will click. I will publish. click publish. Yes. So once you click publish, you will go back to um, the thirty type of Muslim world. The other time, you refresh it. That content will be there. Thank you. Salam alaikum, Bernanaibi. You can remove your screen now. Walik sir. Salam alaikum. Okay. Walik sir. I, I, I'm trying to do something on my laptop here. Can you hear me? I can hear you, sir. Iboni Malo, is it create a blog on WordPress or automatic WordPress or mm -hmm. which one? It gives me a series of uh, something. Just go to blogger.com. Blogger.com. B L O W G E R.com. Okay. Love that. Okay. blogspot.com does not have any content yet. Are you having any challenge? Please, nobody has added content to, to their blog. I'm concerned. Is there any challenge success yes. for me to? Um, I have created my own. Sir. I have. I have. Hello, sir. What's the name of your blog? Hello. Sama Lekusa. That's what our issues. Nas. I have added content. Sama Lekusa. Sama Lekusa. That is actually in Shmeya. Drop the link. Drop the link on the chat. Sama Lekusa. Walekusa. Sir, I've added the content. Hello, can you hear me, sir? You can hear me, sir. I've added the content, but I want to retrieve it. I, I mean, I want to see it again. I want to see it again. How? Guys, I want to re or I want to open the blog again. Uh, so if when you finish adding the content, open a new I tab. Okay. And type your blog again. <laughs> and type um, the URL of your blog. <laughs> Please give me all alaikum. the things. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Please, please, one please, one. please let me attend to. Let me attend to twelve percent. When I open an, another URL, yes. Can you hear me? When I open another one, yes, ma. It's giving me content from other blogs or from other websites. Can you share your screen? I'm using a phone. I don't. I can't do it. Yeah. Okay. Salam alaikum. The reason you might be seeing that might be because you are not typing the URL properly. What is the URL of your? Can you drop the URL of your blog in the chat box? Okay, I'll do that now. Salam alaikum. 
Walaikum salam. After then, what next? After what? You've gone to blogger.com. You said, so, yes, I've gone, I've got it. Then what next? Create your blog. <laughs> okay. Salam alaikum. Yes, sir. When I entered, so on the new post, so it displayed uh, title and a big uh, column. What I want to ask is, are we going to use under that title? Are we going to use the um, the blog name on it, or will we bring another title we wish? So the title is the title of your article, the title of your post, the article that you want to post. What's the title? The big box is the content of the article. For example, you want to post Friday salmon. What is the title of your salmon? That's what should be the title. Okay. Okay. At Tohara. Yeah, so you just put it as a title there. Okay, 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 okay. Bravo, bravo. Well, I know if I drop the my URL, please let me check. Somebody. Somebody. Okay, that was, uh, okay, that was issues the blocks for that. Then she also notes the spelling of issues there. Yay. But it will work because well can I correct not, it? Yes. You can. Please let me check whether the the content that I put is there. Please let me confirm. Your spell is sickness and patient tending. Yes. So how do I correct the spelling? Ah, this is serious. <laughs> I will I will put you through the process immediately I'm okay. done with. So. Okay. Okay. Other get good students here. All of them are just easily. <laughs> we can't tell you. I Please, so we are going faster than the lecture itself. So I'll have to be <laughs> so The reason you are having issues is because you are typing this URL on Google search rather than okay. typing it on the address bar. Uh, yeah, so you are supposed to type unique oh. type it on the address bar. Okay. Exactly. Put www in front of the message. No, 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 no. Go back to the address bar. Okay. Go back to the address bar, ma. That's where I am. So you have Put www dot unique click enter. I just did that. No, no, no. But I'm seeing all that things. So <laughs> there's still a problem with the attacking on the address. So let's go back up. Okay. Delete www dot unique mm -hmm. parent dot blog. No, is dash parents right? No, you are pressing dash parents. Yes. www dot. You know what? Yeah, www dot unique dash 
você acha? Oh, good. The unique variant now is not. Sorry, this page does not exist. Wow. Unique that parents. Yeah. I don't think the page. I don't think that's the correct. The page does not exist. Ah. It's on my phone, and I've made a post. I've published a post. Go back to where you published the post. But if I go through the blogger.com, go to blogger.com. Okay, I can I... sign you. Yes. Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. So I have some option now. Sign in to blogger on the left. Click new blogger. Enter a name for your blogger. Click next. Choose a blogger address or oh, URL. Pick your, Which one? Pick your email address, ma. You are there already. Are you email address. Yes. Uh -huh. Pick the uh -huh. one you use. Pick your email address. Yes. Well, well, you have. You have. To, uh -huh. Exactly. So I'm in. Wait. Is it those three bars? Need those three bars. Those three bars, okay. No, 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 not that one. I've the found one that. On, the one oh, on the by top the left. left hand side. Okay. The one on, one the, on top. the top. Top left. I've done that. No, okay. no, no. Yes, no. I've done. No. Top left. Top left. So what should I click on? I've done that. I've done that. No, you are not clicking on the correct thing. That's the top, the just three doors on the top right hand side. Left. Top left. Top yeah, left. Mass, light, uh -huh. so, uh, go down. Three. Down. Click view blog. New blog. New blog. View. 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 Uh, no, you're view. 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 <laughs> Okay, view blog. I've seen view blog. Yeah. Yeah. So this is your blog. Ah, uh, and I'm the lie. But can others see it? Of course. Yeah. So if you want others to see, it, just copy. Go to the to the address bar and okay. copy that link on the address bar and share it with anybody. That's the okay. correct link. Okay. 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 Please, I'm still on, but. I Ma, just click on the address bar and let's see the correct name. There is no space between your unique and parents. There's no space. It's unique. Yeah. Oh, there's no space. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, next. I can see all about Hajj dot blogspot dot com so you can stop your screen and let's um somebody ask what if you forget your url well if you forget your url you can always go to your blogger account to I'm coming. I want to share. If you forget your URL, um, I'm still. Brana, B, I'm still on. Uh, Haji, can you remove your screen and let um? Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Yeah, his own screen so that we can see what, what. Mom, can you share your screen, sir? Mom, my little hand, share his screen. So let's look at it together. Somebody don't post five now. Imam Moali, can you share your screen, sir? I'm still up now. I'm using my system. So I'm. 
I'm on create a blog now, which I have some options. Choose a blog address or URL, click next, enter a name for your blog, click new blog. So which way should I go? Blog. I, th I think okay. it's you, share your, you, you share your screen. It will be better. It's difficult okay. to, to troubleshoot yeah. if I can't see exactly. what you're saying. You can you can log in um, uh, your Zoom on your laptop. Okay, so let me use my YouTube. let me use my tool uh, my Zoom on my laptop then. Uh -huh. So that you can share that. that yeah, let me do that. I think that one will that one will be shared. Uh, yeah, yeah, take me through that. that. I think will be better. Okay, let me do that. Okay, while you are creating your contents, in case you want to, you make mistake in your URL or any other thing while you are creating your blog, you can go to settings. I'm seeing. I've not seen it. So you can see your, you can see go your to screen. settings. Setting, okay. <laughs> if okay. you come to settings, yes. Click if you want to. Let's say, for example, you you made mistake with the name of your with the title of your blog. You click on the title to allow you to, to bring out the box and allow you to correct it. If you made a mistake with the URL, you click on the URL, you make your correction, and you click save. Okay. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. So for your post. Salam alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum salam. I cannot continue without your address, sir. I created my blog, but I uh, said I cannot continue without your address. Which address will I use? We don't really know where you are right now. What, how, what stage are you right now so that we can... Now, sir, what stage are you right now? I just went to a blogger, blogger www.com, blogger.com, and I created my name. I use not that our program. He said next the address. So I don't, I use one address, he rejected it. So which address will I use for me to continue? So it means that that address that you use has been taken before. So you must you must continue to change the address until they accept what you okay. I should continue to type. Yeah, if if you type one and it doesn't work, look for another one. Oh okay. Okay, thank you, sir. All right, uh, so so you can you can also modify your posts. You can edit your post. You can download your post. Why you so? Please, I've created my own two bots. I've not seen where to post. Then it's telling me to follow. I don't know how to and who to, who to, to be followed. I don't understand you, sir. I've created it. I've gotten to to the stage where even it's now telling me that I'm uh, I'm okay, or it's it's telling me to follow. I don't know whom to follow and how. Follow me. 
I'm too ready, sir. <laughs> I don't think you are. I don't think you are. You are getting it from your explanation. Maybe we need to see what you are doing. Salam alaikum, sir. Salam alaikum, sir. Um, thank you very much. I've, I've created my uh, my own uh, blogger something. It's Friday Nasia. But the issue I'm having is that I don't know where to write the, the, the message I want to pass. I don't know the error to write it. Can you share your screen? I'm using my phone. I'm not where my laptop is. I'm in data state. I'm not in it. I'm not in war in it, but anyway, I'm in data state. So I'm using my phone. I don't, I'm not here with my laptop. You can share your screen on your phone. Ah, can I? Let me try, let me try, let me try, let me try. Wow. Just click on share. I've, I've clicked on share. I'm having Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, Box, Photo, Doc. Uh, come down, 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 you down to see screen. Screen, yeah. you will see screen on that drop chat, drop box. Okay, I've, I've click on screen. I've click on screen now. Okay, so start now. Okay. I'm just drawing over the application. So allow, allow access. Allow. Let's click on allow access. Okay. What's that now? What's that now? Okay. Start now. It's taking me to another place. Okay, I'm sorry. It's crying. Is there Zoom with start again? Capturing everything that is, in, that is displayed on your screen. Start now. I've, I've pressed start now. Can you see that? That's what it's saying. What? The same permit drawing over other application. Yes, click on it to allow to allow permission. Okay. Okay. I think I've done that. No. So continue your work. It's not. Yes. It's up already. You can see it. Can't hear you, Imam Moebi. You can't hear what I you're saying. I mean, thanks. It's on now. You can see your screen now. Wow. Yes. Screen. And I don't think they're going to see Yes, your screen is on now. Your screen is on now. So you go to where, where to log in. So from here, go to your Google account, your Google. It's on. Okay. You see. Okay, I'm there now. Thank you. Okay, I think you can see it now. Friday night. Yeah, yeah. On that, where you put it like that. Okay. Friday Nasia, can uh -huh. you see it now? So, 
Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So if you want to post anything. Okay, ma'am. What do I do? So click on your post. Start okay. posting on that place. Start post. You may have the open space here. No, you go back to blogger. Where there is nothing, nothing. Okay. Sorry, I thought I've been saying things and uh, I didn't know I was I was I was not. Uh, okay. Where do you say I should click, man? Go to the browser. Go to the um address bar. Address. I blogger.com there. Not there, not there. Okay. Not there. This place that, that, place that place you have. Why you have okay. blocks? Small padlock. Small padlock. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Mm -hmm. What is that? Like, I should write something. Mm -hmm. Blogger. 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 Okay. Blogger. 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 Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Okay. Uh -huh. It's telling you there are no posts. Okay. So that Click on that oh, red, that plus sign. That okay. Uh -huh. Press the plus sign, the red one. Click on the red plus. Yes. At the at the base of your page, by the right. Getting it, sir. I can see the page is still moving. Yeah, but this you've gotten to. I think we can begin to round up for the day. Yes, sir. I, I want to believe that by now, everybody that has taken part knows what the blog is doing. And be able to create their own, be able to create their own blog. And we'll also be able to add text content to their blog. Tomorrow, inshallah, we will add more content to our blog. We will see how, instead of using um, the browser, there's a mobile app that you can use to manage the content of your blog. So instead of going to um, Chrome or the likes and the likes, you can just download the app and log in with your blog. And manage your blog from the app. So with that, you don't have any business with uh, the internet browser anymore. So we are going to be doing all that tomorrow. And hopefully, we're also going to be talking about monetizing your blog tomorrow, inshallah. So for all of us, I'm going to um, drop the video for this class. Um, yeah, I'm going to drop yeah. a video for this class on um, YouTube. 
tonight and i'll share the link on our whatsapp group for those who might just want to have do a revision of the class and then um, go over it again we thank Almighty Allah. We ask Him to continue to bless our Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and when we pray for our facilitator, Brother Kasim Naibi. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will um, reward him. Um, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that um, if someone has um, through you been able to be guided in one way or the other, then that guidance that you have provided for that person is um, better for you than the things in this world and um, everything in this world. So... Um, guidance is very, very key. Knowledge is very important. And uh, today we have been able to gain knowledge and skills. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward our facilitator in manifolds. We pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless him and uh, all his um, undertakings. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will continue to enrich him in all manifolds. Al Fatiha. Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Maliki, Amidin, Iyaka Na'abdu'a, Iyaka Na'sta'in, Ehdina Surat Al-Mustaqif, Surat Al-Lazina, Aniyam Ta'alim, Gami Mangyub Ali, Walad Gawlina, Amin. Salam Alaikum. Thank you, Sas. 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 Thank you, Sas.